And thanks for joining us on the news at 7. We're staying with development at the House of Representatives where Governor of Central Bank of Nigeria is optimistic that the rise in inflation will decline in 2024. He spoke during a sectoria uh, debate organized by the House of Representatives. He's confident of positive outcomes from the administration of President Bola Tinubu, and he says it's already emerging and will further emerge in the near future. He attributes the pressure on the dollar to speculations, increased capital outflow, increased forex demand, and excess liquidity. He assures Nigerians the challenges of the exchange rate are being tackled. I acknowledge that despite these commendations, the concerns regarding the cost of living and currency rates remain. Indeed, this is a major topic of concern in our villages, our towns, and our cities. The urgency of the matter is, lost, is not lost on us at the central bank. And I really want to assure you that we are working tirelessly with colleagues from across government, including the leadership of this house, to bring lasting solutions. Inflationary pressures are expected to decline in 2024 due to the CBN's inflationary targeting policy, aiming to rein in inflation to 21.4%, aided by improved agricultural productivity and easing global supply chain pressures. Tivis News National Assembly correspondent Jokia joins me now for more on this story. You were at the House Reps uh, during the debate with the CBN governor. Jokia, what stood out for you and why is he so optimistic? Well, thank you, Nikemi. It's actually uh, not uh, only the CBN governor that appeared before uh, the lawmakers. We had the Minister of Finance. Uh, and the, as the, as who, was, who is also the coordinating minister of the economy. We had a, a minister of a budget and a economic planning. We also had the chairman of the Federal Inland Revenue Service. The four of them as a, the DC economic team, as members of the nation's economic team, answered the lawmakers' call. It's actually the second day, the series that the lawmakers will be organizing. You recall that in November, they hosted the state chiefs and the inspector of police uh, when insecurity was uh, or, or, or was very high and so this time this is the second that they will be having and so uh, it is timely like many of them have said that um, just the opportunity for the lawmakers to interface with those uh, saddled with the responsibility of managing the nation's economy i uh, recall that only yesterday uh, we saw what happened in mena where people uh, kind of protested uh, rising rising cost of living, no money and all that and all. So, so the lawmakers uh, did the treat to actually interface with these people and get answers so that they will know uh, what to tell their people as those, as, as those that are indeed closest to them. And so that was what happened. And it was indeed an eye-opener for them. The economic team led by the Minister of Finance was able to explain in details what they have been doing uh, in the last uh, few months that the Bola government had been in power. And so, the, but, but like for, you know, the, the, it lasted for well over uh, five hours. And at the end of it, the deputy speaker did say that they were satisfied uh, with what they have gotten, with the efforts they have made. But the bulk of the message is that government policy must genuinely and truly address uh, the needs of the people. It is only then that the people can give a sigh of relief. But by and large, we also saw that even all of the people, all of these members of the economic uh, management team did give assurance that the soonest Nigerians would uh, sing a new song, Nigerians would uh, heave he a sigh of relief because of the many policies that have been put in place that are generating our results and that the results will become more attendant in the days ahead. And so this is these are what uh, uh, we're able to take from uh, today's interface, and we are hoping that, like, like the lawmakers have, have also hoped, that in the next few days, in the, in the matter of months, there will be genuine uh, difference so that Nigeria, the prices of uh, products that are on the rise will come down, and Nigerians can even, particularly with the new minimum wage in focus, they will be able to also have a, a, a spending ability to be able to All enter right. markets and get what they want away from the lack that they've been crying about. National Assembly correspondent here, Kedis, is alive for us.